The only difference between rich and poor is the way they think. Everyone's dream is to spend a luxurious life, and everyone works so hard to become rich. Well, if your expectation is to become rich or financially stable, you should have the right mindset to deal with the world. The difference between rich people and poor people is their mindset or simply the way they think. The rich people have passed a hard time along with a lot of dedication to come to this stage in life. So they always manage money carefully. They are always in control of the money and do not let money to control them. But when it comes to poor people, they make a lot of mistakes in managing money as they do not possess more knowledge of finance. So here we are to have a look at some of the money mistakes that poor people do in their day to life. In this video, we are going to describe the five money mistakes that poor people do. Welcome to Clever Money Girl, a place where you can find many tips to become financially stable. Before diving in, make sure to subscribe to our channel to see more easy money-making tips. Do not invest money. When it is coming to the process of becoming rich, making investments is essential. A huge money mistake that poor people do is not investing money. Rich people are considered better investors than poor people. The best way to achieve long-term financial objectives is with a wise investment. It has been proved that investments are what keep rich people higher than poor people. The more you invest, the more wealth you will learn. But it's never too late to put in place an investment plan that satisfies your long-term financial objectives. Based on your objectives and timeline, a knowledgeable financial advisor can assist you in creating a strategy that balances risk and returns. So you can take advice from someone who is an expert in the field before investing. Sometimes poor people do invest, but not in the right places. The most important thing you need to consider before investing is the place where you keep your investments. So it is better to research a lot alone, or you can go for an expert for advice. Excessive spending. One of the huge mistakes that poor people do is they spend more money than they can afford. Excessive spending is one of the worst mistakes that anyone should avoid to have better financial stability. Although rich people have money to spend on whatever they want, they have their limits. They never do unnecessary purchases. But poor people spend more. This is not about spending a lot of money at once. This can be just like spending $25 a week to eat outside or for any other work that is not really essential. The point is, when you spend that much amount a week, you'll have to spend a lot more dollars per year which can be used to cover numerous additional credit card, auto, or other payments. So avoiding the mistake is really important because these unwanted expenses will lead you to a financial crisis. As mentioned before, this mistake is done by only poor people as they do not think a lot before spending. They always consider the temporary satisfaction they receive by spending money. As the rich are aware of how small amounts of money can affect your financial strength, they never make such expenses. That's why they keep shining as rich, and that's why poor people are yet unable to reach success. High debt. Another worst important mistake poor people do is they keep high debts. Rich people have a great capacity to repay debt, but they have practiced avoiding debt. But the issue is poor people are not aware of the worst this can cause. Debt is not something great to have. It will directly affect your financial stability. Poor people are more likely to depend on debt. It has been found that the percentage of using debts is substantially lower among the wealthy. Poor people borrow more money from outside. They may take debts from other people, banks, or any other financial partner. The main reason for this is, people need to buy things they can't afford. When they think of something attractive in the market that they can't afford, they do not let it just go. They try to buy it anyway. That is the reason why EMIs are now available for anything on the market. Every item is accessible on EMI, 
including furniture, televisions, and mobile phones. But having a high debt is not so good. That's why rich individuals do not go even after this EMI. They just do not borrow money from someone just to satisfy themselves. But poor people chose debt to purchase what they see as attractive. It is very essential to save money without wasting it. When it happens like this, why are we trying to drag another financial responsibility, such as a debt, to ourselves? That's quite hard to bear for the poor, but they do not have an idea of how debts can affect their entire financial stability. Don't have a plan for an emergency. No matter what process you are in, you should have a plan to work on. Besides the main plan, you should have created one or two backup plans with yourself to try whenever you see some loopholes in the main plan. No one can forecast what happens next. So you should always be ready to face whatever is in your life. Financial breakdowns can happen unexpectedly. Rich people are fun to be smart in this case. They have a better idea about handling emergencies than poor people do. Whenever you feel a risk of your financial stabilities, you can go for your backups to cover you up. There can be several ways that this can be implemented. Your emergency backup plans can differ from each other. It may be life insurance, medical insurance, property insurance, auto insurance, or whatever. All you have to do is just like maintaining an emergency fund. Rich people do this as a habit as they are aware that they can be open to some financial crisis in the way of moving on as an individual. So they know the necessity of having backup support within them. But the poor do not. That is one of the worst mistakes that poor people do. They do not have backup support or an emergency plan to try when they face some financial crisis. Having unrealistic financial goals one of the best ways to reach success is to follow a goal. Keeping a dream or a goal to fulfill what you really need to have in your life is necessary. But when it comes to rich people and poor people, their financial goals differ based on their expectations. Poor people are seem to keep high expectations of unrealistic goals, although they are not capable of acquiring them. Rich people are always aware of what they are capable of and what they should do and avoid when keeping a financial goal. It's challenging to forecast your exact destination in 10 years, but it's important to think about some of your long-term objectives and make sure to make them realistic ones as most poor people miss the idea of a realistic financial goal. Do you wanna buy a car, a house, or a new business? You can have all of it if you have careful planning. A financial goal will boost your motivation and the courage to achieve what you really want in your life. Make a list of the things you wish to achieve when you are sitting down. Determine a reasonable schedule for when you want these things to occur and how much you will need to save each week or month to get there. Keep everything possible. Do not go for an unrealistic one. Just keep goals that match your financial state. Well, those are the five money mistakes that poor people do. Making mistakes is normal. It just happens because you are not aware of right and wrong. So as individuals who want to be rich and successful in our lives, we have to avoid such habits, which are the cause for the poor to stay poor. Most of all, you have to become financially stable at first. After achieving that standard, you have to maintain your wealth. And when it comes to poor people, they should know the way to manage their money like a pro. Experience provides the best results. That's why many rich people have become able to stay rich for a so long time. Poor people should have the ability to control and deal with money well. Otherwise, the dream to become rich won't be enough. You have to input a lot of courage towards the success of your life. Follow the above useful tips and avoid the money mistakes that poor people usually do as in the video. Did you enjoy the video? If so, don't forget to share your thought in the comment section. We would love to hear your thoughts and other suggestions.